have a buddy. Have a buddy. We're going to talk about the being uncomfortable with choice. Oh, baby. Hi, Mr. Gerald. Hi, sweet Alyssa. It's Alyssa's birthday today. Happy birthday. Awesome. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys. So today might I might I might go on a play. So I we might start. Hold on one second. Okay. There we go. So oh my goodness. I'm going to talk about being uncomfortable with choice. So I'm in my bed. <laughs> yes, I'm doing a Facebook Live from bed. Um, I have been with family and traveling and all these things. And the last couple, so I got home yesterday after being away from my house for, what, 10 days? A week? Felt like a really long time. <sighs> Excuse me. And I got home and all I wanted to do was sleep. And so what I want to talk about today is just this idea um, I had to ask a lot of questions about my sleep, about being tired. I've been having some other physical symptoms, like I haven't wanted to work out, which is really unusual for me, but so tired, I lit my body couldn't even move to go work out. So, right, okay, cool, you too, Gerald. So I wanna talk about something, because I think this will hopefully contribute to any of you that have been experiencing lethargy or change or you're tired. So one of the things I was just on a team meeting with my team and we were talking about this, this idea of choice, like, and, and actually Alyssa, the birthday girl today, she was talking about how when she registers for a class, it's like, it's light to register. It's light to choose the class. And all of a sudden she registers for the class. And then it's like this, like freak out happens or this energy of like, oh my God, cause what? All of a sudden you get all of the change when you register for a class. And so what I want to talk about is I was looking at all the places where we get this lightness. We get a lightness to invest in a class or a lightness to invest in coaching or a lightness to get on a buy a plane ticket or a lightness to book a certain venue or a lightness to book a certain hotel. And we follow the lightness and we get this energy of lightness. And then all of a sudden it stops being so light and it starts to get really uncomfortable. Well, one of the things that happens is I know when I make a choice, I've been watching my brain conclude what the lightness will create. Have any of you ever done that, right? Where you are, yeah, that is it. Happy birthday, Alyssa. Awesome. Cool. Welcome everybody as you're joining. Um, yeah. So, so one of the things I've had to ask, cause I like, I don't know if any of you know me, but I do not sleep. I'm like a four, five hour, maybe six hour a night girl. I can go six hours every night for weeks at a time. Right. And then once in a while I'll need to sleep. Well, the last four days I have been going to bed at eight or nine o'clock at night and sleeping till six in the morning, right? That's like a 10 hour night and it still doesn't feel like enough. And so I've been asking a lot of questions. I've been doing NJD every day. We're now on day 35 and it, we destroy and uncreate like, you know, everything that business was, everything that food was to you, everything that relationships were to you, everything that money was to you. And what's happening is all of my old frame of, of reference are literally disappearing. Yes, literally disappearing. And so I, all I'm wanting to do is sleep because I have 
nothing to grab onto. And so it's funny, I've been asking, all right, body, is this the change you've been asking for? And so if you have been extremely tired, if you have been wanting to sleep, if you've been needing to get your bars run more or wanting to rest a lot, it's like there is this energy of what we tend to want to go to the wrongness, right? Like I'm in my bed right now and I'm going to work. I've been working all day from bed. Luckily, most of my clients and most of the people I have meetings with and most of the things I do, including getting online, right? It's like, I actually can show up as me. Now, could I, I don't know, would it work more for a lot of people if I was dressed up? Like, or is it just you show up how you show up, however you need to show up and you keep choosing, right? And so part of my, you know, going live every day is like, you guys, what is it you would like to show up for in your life that if you just show up for it, however it goes, right? I let, I just let go of the old Gerald. Exactly. And so it's funny. Um, and I like, it's funny getting on live cause I'm like, Oh my God, I had the perfect words. Now I have no words and I'll just stumble through it. Um, but normally I can power through if I'm tired, I'll still go to the gym. Um, I'll still go to a yoga class. I'll still go skiing, right? If I'm tired, I'll still do all these things. But because of NJD every day and everything where we're destroying every day, I literally am looking at, oh my gosh, I actually can't. So one of the things we talked about in the team meeting was so many of us for so long have been fighting for or fighting against the resistance, right? And so let's say I need to go to the gym and I'm too tired to go. And I'm like, I would fight and go anyway, right? And today I was like, oh, for the first time, if I fought to go, it actually would not create greater, right? Oh, Suzanne, you're so sweet. She says, I just wished I could be live with you. And here you are live, live with you from wherever you are in the world. And so my friends right now, I love that, Gerald. Like most of us, especially if you've been using the tools, especially if you've been asking questions, there is a huge shift happening. And look, some of you might be on that shift. Some of you might be on a totally different shift. My hope is that this contributes to you if it does. And if it doesn't, you don't have to watch it, <laughs> right? Most of you go into the wrongness, right? Instead of going into being more and allowing more being. Okay, cool. So that was a quote. I'll read it again from, uh, we did uh, the money, NJD for your money, honey. Um, call number two was yesterday. And here's a quote from yesterday's call, which is most of you will go into the wrongness instead of going into being more and allowing more being. And I think, and Alyssa, thank you so much because my friends, that is exactly what's happening is the old ways of spending money, the old ways of doing business, the old, at least for me, this is what's showing up for me. I physically cannot do it. And the old me, the way that I would deal with when, when, you know, I had no energy, I would binge watch Netflix or I'd get my bars run, or maybe I'd go out and drink tequila and go dancing. Right. But none of those options, except for getting my bars run are options that are working either. So there is no binge watching Netflix. There's just sleep. And when I'm not fighting, there's like this, and so it would have been really easy for me not to come on to Facebook Live today. But part of this is being uncomfortable with choice. Every choice you make can create a different future, right? And are you making choices for the future you want to see or are you a victim to your choices, right? So do you make choices blindly and say, oh, I'll deal with that later? right? That used to be my MO. In fact, when I was 25, I walked down the aisle knowing I shouldn't say I do, but I said I do. And in my head, I said, I'll deal with it later. That was a very unconscious choice. Why? I got the crap beaten out of me in that relationship. I 
went down a path that was not so fun. But the lightness of it, the lightness of that unconscious choice is I woke up and I'm here now because of it, right? I do what I do because of that choice. Wow, I felt exactly the same today after call number two. Thank you. Yeah, so here's what I was aware of with call number two on NJD for your money, honey. A lot of, of people who joined that call and a lot of you that are on that call were asking to go really far with money, but not everyone is ready to go there. And so I think that I was trying to facilitate to, to a lot of people to the place where you said you wanted to go not to the place where your body could go, right? And so my body's like, uh-uh, we're sleeping. Today is day 83, 33. <laughs> oh, right, I love it. 83 of everyday energy pull and many clearings lost every reference point. Exactly, Gerald. And so my friends, when you lose your reference points, guess what happens? Guess what happens to your body? The body gets to let go. And I don't know about you, but I've spent 40 plus years of my life not letting go and not totally. And when you let go of every reference point, there begins to become an energy where you just know no matter what, you'll be okay. You know that no matter what, if you have to file bankruptcy, you're going to be okay. No matter what, if you are alone on Christmas, you're going to be okay. No matter what, if you have to dive, drive through a snowstorm that you can barely see through, you'll be okay. If you deal with the worst heartbreak of your life, you'll be okay, right? And so when you lose your frames of reference, you literally write... Yeah, wow. So Alyssa says, when my husband proposed, I heard a loud no and said yes anyway. Choice does create and will create. Right. And so here's the other piece around this. In my tired, I've been asking what's right about this. And so my body's been going through a lot of really funky changes, not so many fun changes. And instead of going into the wrongness or freaking out or doing my old patterns, I just am going wow, is this the change I've been asking for? And I keep getting a yes, so I keep letting go. So my friends, how many of you are experiencing discomfort right now? Wow, right, because here's the deal. The future is uncomfortable. Why? Because you don't know what it looks like, but if you trust you, if you hold on to what you know is true, yeah, it will create an energy of possibilities that you never knew possible. And so I would love to be excited and like right now. And the reality is like my energy is like, whoa, I've been outputting a lot of energy for a very long time. And so a lot of us have been outputting a lot of energy for a very long time to make things happen. But what if the work and the purpose in facilitating you is to get you into being more of you? Yeah. Right. Suzanne says a lot. Hello, sweet Vanya. Yeah. So my friends, I want you to start asking if your body's tired, is this a change you've been asking for, right? If your being is tired, my being is tired. Is this the change I've been asking for? And so the only thing that I could do yesterday was sleep. And the only thing I could do this morning was sleep. And so I'd wake up for a meeting and then take a quick 10 minute nap. And then I'd wake up for a meeting and I've been up since then, since what, nine o'clock? 8.30, but what I want to say is, wow, how much rest is your body asking for in the wake of change? Yeah, Renee says, I choose to be more of me. And so my friends, I want to talk about the topic today just for a little bit, which is being uncomfortable with choice is, you know, 
we've been taking people through this 10 week course on NJD for your money, honey. Yesterday was call number two. Next week is call number three. Anyone can join up until call number three. And we've been taking them through this and, and it's like the old ways of making money, push, grind, grunt are disappearing. And there's this energy of needing to trust that you can create anything at any time without needing to push. Right. And so I wonder, wow, wow. Okay. So I wonder if the exoskeleton of pushing to create for money is actually leaving your bodies. Okay. It's leaving my body. And if you don't know exoskeleton, um, uh, Dane talks about it, but I'm not sure where. And you guys, I wish I could tell you about it right now, but I have no, I have no energy to be able to. I, right. I was so opposite. I could not settle last night. I was so filled with energy, but the choice I made was to be the creative that I be. That's awesome. I love that, Renee. Right. I love that. And this is like the whole point is when you follow the energy of your being, everything is ease. It's just doesn't always show up the way you think it's going to. So in this math of needing to rest, that is not normal for me. I'm a go getter, go getter, go getter. And I'm finding ways to just be an allowance and ease of the rest because there is no fight. I love that, Renee. <sighs> yeah. And so, my friends, what is it that you, you, mm, mm, okay. So, like with choosing for more money, right? You're like, I'm going to choose for more money. And it's light and it's light and it's light and it's light and it's light. And all of a sudden, it gets non light. The non light is the change that you're choosing. Because guess what has to happen for change to occur? You have to let go of your old ways of doing and your old ways of being. Yeah, it's light for me, awesome. Good afternoon, since doing the NJD program and being an NJD everyday experience is really interesting. It feels like the sensation of not pushing to create exactly, it's just space and this weird sensation of not choosing, but that's not true. I am choosing. I am creating. It just doesn't feel like it is ever before. And it's very exactly Christine. And I think that's why my body's been resting because I'm like, oh my God, like I can't push anymore. And so my friends, when you lose your frames of reference, guess what is occurring? You get to start to experience what it's like to be all of you. So I don't have a lot of words today. I just wanted to pop on and say hi. Um, I will be on tomorrow, but a little bit later than our normal noon time. Um, and I'm going to be mixing it up over the next few days, but still getting on live. So my friends, I freaking adore you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for giving your energy. Thank you for um, sharing your experiences. And what I'll say to you is if things are changing, if it's uncomfortable, is this the change you've been asking for? Is the first question to ask. And the second question is body and being, what do you require? How can I nurture you? And how can I contribute to you today? So my magical friends, that's all I got for you. Yeah. May you have a beautiful, blessed day, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.